So here we have a lot of companies listed, and some of them are LLP, some of them are LLC, some of them are Inc, and uh, some of them are corporation or whatever. But we just want to keep the company name. We don't want the LLC, LLP, or that part out of it. Reg X replace, and we are going to first provide the text we're working with. The second one is the regular expression. So what are we trying to match? So what I'm trying to match is something that's going to end with LLP, at least in this particular line case, right? And it's not just LLP, it should be like a space LLP. So I'm going to do space LLP right here and close the quotes there. So I wanted it to end with this. So I'm going to do the dollar sign that it ends with that, not starts with it, right? and then comma, and I have to provide, what do I want to replace it by? So basically I don't want to replace it by with anything. So I do double quotes for an empty string. So I think you could even leave this just blank. So it would treat it the same way. So there it is. Now we found that LLP part that ends with space LLP and we were able to just replace it with nothing. But I want to be able to copy this down and make it work for LLC and LTD and all these other options too without having to do each one separately. So what I can do, I, I said this is my regular expression, it should be LLP and then I can do OR, which is the pipe, right? It can be a space LLC and the dollar sign for the end or it can be a space LT td and a dollar sign after it right and or we'll have to say what else it's going to be so it can be ink it can be incorporated so it's space i n c now it can be ink or incorporated so i'm going to include both of those i'm going to say so it, if it starts with a space and ink and then we have any number of any characters after it, which was I'm gonna include the dots and incorporate it in it. I guess we want to also take that out, right? And I don't know if we had any other cases. So, so far, let's do this and see what we get. So we're going to drag this down. So now this should replace LLCs, LLPs removed, LTDs removed, ink removed, incorporated removed, right? LTD removed. So I don't know, it looks pretty good. Let's see if there are any other cases we missed. So there is this corp. We may want to e e extract like this uh, corp out of it. And this is interestingly enough. Ah, this, this worked. So we want to also maybe take off the corp and corporation. Right, so I'll go here and do another pipe and then space C O R R P and then basically any number of any character following it to just get all the other options and let's copy this down. That should extract all those options. So this is like using substitute function with a lot of different options that you can choose. Now another possibility here is to mm, remove all the spaces and dots and everything if you wanted to do that. So let's say we just want to make sure not spaces, but let's all like, if we have commas, periods, you know, some hyphens and things like that, maybe we want to remove it out of our text. So we'll go equals reg replace. Again, the, this is the text we're working with, comma. So now I want to show which characters I want to remove. So the characters I want to match, so that's gonna be our regular expression. And all the characters, we can put it inside of our square bracket, which means any one of those characters. So I'm gonna do comma, dot. And by the way, when you do like this, period usually we have to escape it right but if you do it in the square brackets you don't have to escape it so you just put your characters so we do uh, the question uh, the 
period with it the our comma maybe we want to include I don't know hyphen who knows so all the characters we want to basically remove and I forgot to do the last option in our replacement what are we replacing it by so I'm basically just deleting it so I'm not gonna include that so there it is that's going to take all the periods commas and hyphens out of this so if you wanted to also include like question marks you could put question marks here as well right that's our regex replace